This is a dive trip to Baja that we went on with a couple buddies. Super excited. This is when I caught my first Gulf grouper, the largest fish to date, and it was just super awesome experience. This is my Pathos 85 Sniper Roller, um, my go-to gun currently um, under maintenance, but uh, here I am heading in, Captain handing over my gun. Um, I'm diving down. I spook the fish. Look at the top right. You'll see the grouper spook off right there. Um, I'm, what I'm doing is looking for a spot to chill. I'm using this rock on the right um, to chill behind, and the idea is to hopefully stay still and have the grouper check me out um, so i'm sitting here i'm waiting trying to stay relatively still what i should have done is be a little bit smoother on my head motions you can see by the camera it's pretty fidgety which is not recommended but here one comes really tough to see but um i line it up and on the right hand side this one's a little easier his buddy comes over a lot bigger and i line up wait for him to go broadside and take the shot So what I should have done is immediately after I shot the fish, gave it a little good tug, but I was worried that the shaft was not in a good place. The shot was good. This was actually my seventh time diving down to secure this fish. It got tangled under some rocks and was burying itself in some holes. Uh, if you want to see the whole fight, um, be sure to check out the full video of the Baja trip and link in the description below. Um, you can see here as I'm about to go up, I have to cut the line because um, I'm just not able to pull it out right here. And then I head on up and secure the fish. Cooper? Yeah. Okay. And there it is. That's the grouper that took me seven tries to get and land onto the boat. Super excited, unreal, and just makes this moment extra special. <laughs> Alright everyone, we are going to start the the grouper that I caught. Get right to it. It's a nice size. I'm gonna go behind the front plate. Here, draw a line. All the way to the back. So at this point in filleting, I'm about four to five fish in, hence my voice being a little tired. Um, but the whole filleting process for not only this fish, for, for all the fish was about five hours. So it was, took quite a while. It was myself, two of my dive buddies that came on the trip. My fiance was helping transport the fillets to the kitchen and cleaning them up and storing them. Uh, but yeah, so here's the grouper that I caught. Um, you can see me going along the back here. It's sped up quite a bit. I was pretty slow on this one just because it's the largest fish I've caught. I'm trying to preserve as much meat as possible. And it was the largest fish I caught. So I was being a little slow and trying to be more surgical with this one. I'm using a longer, stiff fillet knife for this one. And you can see it comes off nice and easy. It does take me a while but well worth it, I'm trying to preserve as much meat as possible. Take off the meat on the filet. The big grouper. Nice fat filet, fat filet. 
We're gonna cook that up to something delicious. Give it to our neighbors, our friends. Share the wealth, you know? And that wraps up the fillets for the grouper. Let's head on in the kitchen and let's cook some food. All right, today we're gonna to be making some Chinese salt and pepper fish. And we're gonna be using, of course, our grouper that we caught. You're gonna need some canola oil, cornstarch, onion, cooking wine, preferably Chinese cooking wine of, of your liking, pepper, salt, some garlic, ginger, red pepper, some scallions, and that is it. Let's get cooking. So first up, we're gonna cut the fish. Some nice chunks like this. So after we chunk up the grouper, we're gonna add it into a bowl and add some ginger. Now we're gonna add about a teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. You want about a tablespoon of the wine. Now we're gonna mix it up and prepare this, let this rest. Now we can start with the oil. Now we're gonna heat up some oil. Use that canola oil. We're gonna deep fry the fish. Just wanna make sure there's a generous portion in there. So we're heating up the oil. We want it to get to 340 degrees. So we got our fish. It's been in that bowl since we've been heating up the oil. This is cornstarch. Give it a nice coating. It smells good. Woo! Here's our fried fish, our grouper. Just coated in cornstarch and then let it sit in cooking wine, Chinese cooking wine for a bit, salt, pepper. All right, let's try a piece out. It's just the fish. It smells amazing, so I just had to take it. Just had to taste it. It's hot, but really good. And can't wait. We have to add still the onions, the peppers, but the flavor of just the fish and that kind of where it's that marinated side in the wine, it's really, really tasty. Can't wait. So now we're gonna cut up some onion and peppers and prepare them to be included into the saute. Now we're gonna cut up the garlic nice and small, and we're gonna add this into the canola oil to really absorb that garlic taste and start our saute. Now we're in our second pot. Just added our garlic with some canola oil. This is where everything's gonna come together. So we have the onions cut up, and now we're gonna slice the peppers. So now we're gonna grab our onion, wait for our garlic to get nice golden brown. Into the mix. Next, we have our pepper. So this is all after the garlic has been sitting in the oil for a bit, turning a little golden brown. Then you add the onions and the pepper. And also we're gonna add some pepper. So we're gonna add a little bit of salt. Now we're gonna mix it up again 
make sure we get that salt and pepper evenly distributed. We have our fish in the dugout ready to go in. So once it's a nice golden brown, go ahead and add the fish. All right, we just finished cooking. The finished product is right here. This is salt and pepper fish, Chinese salt and pepper fish. Um, lots of different ingredients, actually relatively simple. Um, just the steps have to be prepared a certain way, but it smells amazing. And we're gonna dive in. We have some rice here. All we're gonna do is grab our fish. This is a nice piece of grouper. Check that out. And eat it with some rice. Mmm. Oh yeah. That's really good. The crunchiness, the flavor, really deep flavor profile. Um salt, pepper coming through. The peppers, the red peppers, is a nice, nice touch. Really nice kick. If you're not, can't handle spice too much, follow the same recipe, just don't add the red peppers, but the red peppers really give it a nice, nice twist. But um, this is grouper from my Baja trip. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you made it all the way this far. And till next time, I'm just gonna be enjoying this fish. So have a good one. See you in the next video.